All right, so I'm going to make that section out of just good old fashioned flat steel 18 gauge. I had to actually section in part of the brace that's under there. Uh, you can see that on the inner wheelhouse that I had to section in. So that's all done. The passenger side of this thing is done. Of course, we got. I've got to come through and dress everything and flashlight it, spotlight it, make sure I don't have any pinholes. Because you know up on the top there, I'm going to have pinholes somewhere. Got that all plugged in, all that stitched in. So it's really, it's it's uh, finish down all the welds close and then die cam uh, up there. I got to finish those welds down and figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I think I'm going to put a coupon in there. And just weld that seam solid and the metal finish it. So it'll take very little uh, body filler instead of a whole bunch of body filler back here and putting lead back in up here where they had it. They had the lead the first three or four inches. Um, whatever. So then there was this section. Uh, there was this section. I actually started metal finishing some of it. You can see the outline. And there's a couple pinholes there. I know I can, and you can see them. I'll have to deal with those. Uh, there's that inner wheelhouse. Uh, there's the outer wheelhouse sections. That was uh, up there at the top was a booger that I chased. Um, I didn't get it cut back as far as I did, I reckon. I don't know. It looks like I got one other little incident there that I got to deal with. So, again, some last little bits. That lower quarter. Of course, I made that, as you all know. And then this outer wheelhouse section. That is all the metal work on the passenger side of this that I know of. I know that there's a soft spot on the floor in there somewhere that I'm going to have to deal with. It's under the seat, so it would be down in here somewhere, a soft spot. I'm gonna deal with that from inside the car, but the plan is to bounce over to the uh, driver's side quarter section, then finish up anything I need to on the tail panel that we replace a lot of it. There's some stuff that's, that's perforated, so I have to go through that. Uh, and each section in turn, Anything that's a visible painted surface like this quarter, you know, uh, knock the weld down, hit it with the die chem, come back in with sanders and files and picks and whatever I need to straighten it out now, straighten the whole thing out. So when I do blast it and epoxy it and I put polyester primer and block that out and you're able to do just a little bit of body work on top of that, I'm hoping to avoid most of that little bit of body work on top of this. If I can spend one day on each side, it'll save materials, time, and money in the bodywork stage. So I'm creeping closer to blasting it. Thank you.